hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have you had a good day? Amen. Good to be back in the house of the Lord tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I want to know right now, who is sick in here tonight? In your physical, I'm serious, this is not a trick question. Who is sick in your physical body right now? Raise your hand. In the name of Jesus, I want to do something right now. I just feel I'm sure the Holy Ghost. If you're sick, I want you to come to the front right now. I feel something right now in Jesus' name. Right in the very, there is no reason why we can't have victory in our bodies tonight. This is a worship service. This is a time to give God some glory. Amen. Amen. Elders, help me right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. My, my, my. Lord, let healing virtue flow. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise and thanksgiving right now. Oh, I believe the Lord is touching right now. He is a right now God. I said He is a right now God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no reason to have to carry your sickness through this service tonight. Amen. I said the healer is in the house. The healer is in the house. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We need to remember... Uh, Elisa Bouchard, I believe her name is, she wants to come to church, amen, but she is sick and unable to be here, amen, and she says she's going to try to come next weekend, amen, let's continue to pray for her, and also this upcoming week, Sister Amanda and Brother Danny will be getting an addition to their, to their family, and, amen, and we want to pray. Amen. We want to pray that the hand of the Lord is with them and on them and just carry everything through in the, in, in just the best way possible. Amen. God is able to give them strength, both of them. Amen. And the family in Jesus' name. Can you help me pray right now? In the name of Jesus, Lord, we bring these needs before you. We know, God, that you want to touch Lisa right now. She needs healing in her body. She needs salvation in her soul. And we're praying, God, that you would send a ministering angel to her home right now, oh God, to touch her. Raise her up, God. Let there be a testimony of the healing power of the Holy Ghost. We pray in Jesus' name, God, touch Sister Amanda, Brother Danny, their family this week, Lord, in the addition that they will be receiving into their family. Oh, God, God, give strength, give peace, that the angels of the Lord go with them, we pray, oh, God, during this time of delivery. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, can we one more time give the Lord a good hand cup of praise? Give Him some thanksgiving. I believe some people have been healed already. I said, I believe some people have been healed already in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. 
Amen, amen, hallelujah. I know I'm taking just a little bit of time in the opening of this service tonight, but uh, you've got to understand something. It's one thing to praise the Lord, but it's another thing to worship. You can't worship until you have revelation of who He is. But when you realize who He is and you have the revelation, then we can worship. What do you say tonight? We worship in revelation tonight. Let's join our voices with Brother Brian and the worship team tonight. And let's give God some glory right now in Jesus' name. Oh, let's lift our hands across this place. Let's take a moment and love Him. Oh, Jesus, we love you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Sing this with us. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. He goes before me. He goes before me. Defender behind me. Defender behind me. I will fear. I'm filled with anointing. I'm filled with anointing. And my cup's overflowing. How many feel blessed tonight? No weapon can harm me, no. No weapon can harm me. And I won't fear. I won't fear. People of God sing hallelujah. How many believe that you're not alone? Oh, he's my comfort. He's my comfort. And he always holds always me close. Holds me close. Let's sing the other verse. He always guides me. He always guides me. Through the mountains and valleys. Through mountains and valleys. His joy is refreshing. to sing this part with us. Sing your spirit. Your spirit lives within me so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory. My victory. My victory. Your spirit lives within me so I'm going to walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. I said you're my victory. Jesus, you're my, my victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I'm going to walk so in your peace. Your, your spirit lives within me. You're my victory. My victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I'm going to walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. Oh, I will walk in your 
that I'm not alone. Cause Jesus is my comfort. He's my comfort. And he always holds me close. Sing, His Spirit lives within us. Your Spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your Spirit lives within me, my victory, my victory. Your Spirit lives within me, within me. so I'm going to walk in your peace. Your Spirit lives within me, it's my victory, my victory. No matter what's going on around me, no matter what chaos is going on in my life, His Spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Your Spirit lives within me, so I will walk in Your. Your Spirit lives within me. It's my victory, my victory. Your Spirit lives within me, so. place. Let's give him some praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. There's a table that you've prepared for me. In the presence of my enemy, there you laid out your instruction there for me. This is how I fight my battle. There's a table that you've prepared for me in the presence. Of my enemy There you laid out Your instruction there for me And this is how I fight my battle And I believe And I believe You've overcome And I will win my song Of praise for what you've done This is how I fight How I fight. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. 
how I find. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Well, in the valley, I know that you're with me. And surely your goodness and mercy follow me. So my weapons are my praise and my testimony. This is how I fight my battle. And I believe. And I believe you've overcome. And I will live my song of praise for what you've done. This is how I fight. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight. Look like when the enemy comes in like a flood. You're always there with me. Say, this is how I find. This is how I find. Give him praise. No matter what we're going through, he's always around us. Amen. And that makes us an overcomer. I'm 
win. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I have dominion. And I walk in authority. I've been washed in his blood. I've kept by his blood. And filled with his spirit and by his stripes. I'm healed. I'm free. Yes, Jesus gave me the victory. Yeah. 
Come on and lift your voice. Praise Him tonight. Say, praise Him. Praise Him. Give Him glory. Praise Him. And praise Him. Praise Him. Everybody praise Him. Give Him praise. Praise Him. Give Him glory. Praise Him. Everybody praise Him. Tonight, tonight, we gotta fight. Tonight, tonight, we gotta fight. Oh, tonight, tonight, we gotta fight. To shake the foundations with praise. Parade, glory, hallelujah. This is what we come to do. Tear down strongholds, break the chains. Find the devil in Jesus' name. Glory, glory, hallelujah. This is what we come to do. Tear down strongholds, break the chain. Find the devil in Jesus' name. Tonight, tonight, we got a right to shake the foundations with bread. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Say he's worthy. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise right now. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on, why don't you step out of your comfort zone and do something right now to give God some praise. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Woo! Hey man, what did you come for tonight? Hallelujah, why are you here? Woo! I want to give God some praise. I want to give God some glory. I want to give God some worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo! Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. Woo, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. To this church family, you will understand what I am about to say. But the potential in this service is huge. I said the potential in this service. Hallelujah. Woo! Look around. Take note. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. If we will stand in our priestly positions of prayer, praise, and worship, there is no limit to what God can and will do in this service tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. We could have a Holy Ghost breakthrough. There could be a Holy Ghost rally tonight. Amen, hallelujah. Lives can be changed. Homes put back together. Hearts mended. Minds put back to right. In this service tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to the remaining portions of this service tonight. Amen. You may return to your places at this time. Hallelujah. I want to say a great big welcome again tonight to all of our guests that are here. Amen. Lord bless you richly. Amen. Hallelujah. And I pray that the presence of the Lord, amen, will touch you in this place. Amen. And that you will consider just come on and be a part of us. Amen. The more the merrier. And if you know nobody, anybody else, bring them too. If you got friends, bring them. If you got some enemies, bring them too. The Lord will touch them. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing like the family of God. Nothing like living for the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Look around. There are some that are not here tonight due to various reasons that should be here. Amen. As I was scanning the congregation tonight, looking and praying, amen, and just talking to the Lord during worship service, I said, God, you know where that one and that one and that one is and where they are and what's going on and what's, what they're fighting and what's, what the situations are, God. But we just pray that you would remove every obstacle, remove every excuse, Lord. We want them and you want them to be in the house of the Lord. I'm being honest right now. I'm being serious right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus is coming. Maranatha, encourage yourself. Maranatha, Jesus is coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. At this time, the ushers are preparing. They're going to come and wait upon us. This is a part of our worship. Amen. The Lord has been so kind and gracious and merciful and plentiful to us. Amen. And in return, we worship Him in giving of our tithing and our, our offering unto Him. Amen. Out of a heart of love and thanksgiving, God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. And if you will give cheerfully unto the Lord, I can promise you by experience, He will bless you beyond your wildest imagination. Try. God said, try me. Try me. See if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you cannot contain. Try me. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is a law that God Himself put in place. It's God's economy. And it works. I said it works marvelously. Amen. Precious Lord, we thank you one more time, God, for the privilege that we can come and give back to you for your goodness and your mercy and your graciousness to us. And we ask you, Lord, that you would anoint it, bless it, multiply it, stretch it, whatever needs to happen, Lord. Let your will be accomplished, we pray, in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Lord bless you as you give unto the Lord right now. Well, can't nobody mm -hmm. do me like Jesus. Well, can't nobody do me like the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, he's my friend. I'm singing there. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus, for he's my friend. Well, he picked me up and he turned me around. Yes, he picked me up and he turned me around. Well, he picked me up and he turned me around, for he's my friend. He healed my body. Well, he healed my body and told me to run on. He's healed my body, told me to run on. Healed my body and he told me to run on. He's my. One more time, sing the chorus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus? Can't nobody. Do me like the Lord, can nobody do me like Jesus, for He, my friend. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. And the good news is, He will be your friend too. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Brother Rios is coming at this time to worship the Lord in song. Amen. Let's continue to worship. Amen. I'm looking forward to the ministry of the word of the Lord tonight. Amen. God's got great things. Amen. Let's, let's open our hearts with expectation. Amen. Let's worship with Brother Rios right now. Praise the Lord, church. Oh, come on now. Party ain't over yet. Praise the Lord, church. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. You know, the Bible tells us that if you have a faith the size of a mustard seed, amen, that you could tell that mountain to move and it'll move, amen. Now, God just needs a little bit of us, amen, to believe in him to take care of our problems. Come on now, amen. All he needs is just a little bit, just a, a, a faith the size of a mustard seed. And whatever you're going through, as long as you call upon that name of Jesus, amen, that mountain will be moved, amen. That weight will be lifted off your shoulders. Hallelujah, the song I'm going to sing, it talks about that. It's in Spanish, but it's, it's all good, it's still the same, amen. Praise God, pray for me, it's been a minute since I've sang. Hallelujah. Si, sorry. si tú hubieras fe como un grano de mostaza, eso lo dice el Señor. Si tú hubieras fe. Como un grano de mostaza, eso lo dice el Señor. Tú le dirías a esa montaña, muévete. Muévete, tú le dirías a esa montaña, muévete. Esa montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. 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 Si te verás fe como un grano de mostaza, eso lo dice el Señor. Si te verás fe como un grano de mostaza. Eso lo dice el Señor. Tú le dirías a la montaña: Muévete, muévete. Tú le dirías a la montaña: Muévete, muévete. Esa montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. Esa montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. Esa montaña se moverá, se moverá. Esa montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. Si te verás fe como un grano de mostaza, eso lo dice el Señor. Si te verás fe como un grano de mostaza, eso lo dice el Señor. Tú le dirías a la montaña, muévete, muévete. Tú le dirías a esa montaña, muévete, muévete. Esa montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. 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 Esa montaña se moverá, se moverá. Se moverá, esa montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. Si te verás fe como un grano de mostaza, 
Eso lo dice el Señor Si te verás fe como un grano de mostaza Eso lo dice el Señor Tú le dirías a la montaña Muévete, muévete Tú le dirías a la montaña Muévete, muévete Esa montaña se moverá Se moverá esa montaña se moverá, se moverá, se moverá. 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 Hey, hey, hold on just a minute, hold on just a minute. Brother, what is that in English? <laughs> if you have a faith the size of a mustard seed, you can tell that mountain to move and it'll move, amen. what he was saying but I could feel the spirit behind it oh what did I tell you a while ago the possibilities are great right now oh the man of God's about to come anything can happen hallelujah Woo! oh thank you Jesus my 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 Woo! hallelujah mm. Woo, the atmosphere is charged. Can you feel it? Can you feel it, church? Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Brother Bates is coming right now to minister the word of the Lord. Amen. Let's be attentive. Amen. Let's be sensitive to the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brother Bates. Amen. Thank you, Brother McVeigh. Thank you, Brother Rios, for your special. Thank you, praise team. Thank you, musicians. Thank you, congregation. I tell you what, if you're looking for a place that knows how to worship God, you came to the right place. If you're looking for, for a cold, dead, dry church, this is not the church for you. If you're looking for just something to get you through to the next day and kind of dry and mundane and a kind of little bit quiet, not very radical. This is not the church for you. If you're looking for, you know, just the norms, come see, come see, whatever they say, this is not the church for you. But if you're looking for something different, if you're tired of dead, dry church, if you're tired of, it doesn't seem like anything's happening where you've been going to church at. If it doesn't seem like people are getting filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, where you've been going, you're in the right place. If you're, if you're wanting something from God, you're in the right place. Now, you don't have to have great faith. You don't have to be a, a, a great man of God, a great woman of God, as, as, as what people would think. You just have to have a little bit of faith. The faith the size of a mustard seed. Just a little bit of faith. You don't need a whole lot, as the song says. Just use what you got. You may come into this place tonight and say, I've been beat up, I've been chewed on, I've been spit out, but I, I got a little bit of faith. I got a little bit of hope that God can do something in my life. Well, if all you got is just a little bit of faith, a little bit of hope, well, guess what? God can move that mountain. God can move that mountain. If all you can do is whisper to that mountain, that mountain is going to move. If all you can do, if you can't use your words, maybe give some sign language, say mountain, be removed. God will honor you. That mountain will be removed. We just got to have that faith. We just got to trust that God's word is true. We just got to believe what he says. We got to believe what he has told us. We got to believe that we are who he says we are. Not what you think you are, not what you feel like, not what everybody else has told you. But what does the word of God say you are? 
get into it and figure out who God says you are. Find out you're not a you you're not a, a conquered people. You're not you, you're not a defeated church. The church is victorious. The church isn't on uh, is it on life support. The church isn't on its last limb, on its last leg, waiting to go down. The church is a mighty force. The church is going up. But you got to believe it. You got to get into the Word of God and see who God says that you are. Amen. You just got to believe it. Excuse me. If you could turn with me in your Bibles to Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 15. Tonight's going to be a, you know, all the preachers say tonight's going to be different. But tonight's going to be different, I promise you. Tonight's going to be a little different. But you know what? We may be out of here in 20 minutes. We may be out of here in 30 minutes. We may be out of here in two hours. But I just trust in the Lord. The Lord's been ministering to me. To, I, I, we'll see where this thing turns out at. This thing might blow up in my face, but that's all right. Because you know what? God is in charge of everything. And reading at verse 10, 10 or I'm sorry, verse 13 and Mark 10. And they brought young children to him that he should touch him and touch them, and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. You can be seated. I want you to notice what the Lord did not say. Brother Brian, you might want to stay up here because that might be 15 minutes if you don't mind. Don't want you necessarily sitting on the keyboard because it might be 30 minutes. Thank you, brother. Man, we got an awesome praise team, an awesome group of musicians. Amen. We got an awesome church. We got an awesome pastor. We got an awesome pastor's wife. We got an awesome junior youth department. We got an awesome senior youth department. We got an awesome group of, of ushers. We got an awesome group of hostess. That's right. Give them a round of applause. We got awesome guests in the house tonight. We serve an awesome God. You know what? You can't be related to somebody and some traits not rub off on you. You can't be around somebody and just stay the way that you are. Now, guess if you've been around here, been coming around very much, get ready because tonight might be your night that you get what you've been looking for. Tonight might be the night that you've been thinking, man, those people are crazy. You might walk out of here and say, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You might... But, but, but Jesus did not say in order to receive the kingdom of God that we had to be as theologians. Now, I have nothing against theologians. We need them when they have their place. But Jesus did not say, you need to get in and become a theologian so you can get into the deeper things of God and ponder the great mysteries of the Most High God in order for you to be saved. It's really pretty simple. You just got to be like a little kid. You just got to trust the Lord for who he says he is and what he's going to do for you. That's what that means. You know, my children, if I say I'm going to do something, they believe that I'm going to do it. And that's what the Lord wants from us. He is not a man that he should lie. He is not a man that he should lie. God's not going to lie to you. God's never lied. His word is true. But he didn't say you had to be a theologian to, to, to make heaven. And sometimes our deep thinking turns into deep stinking. You get so far out in left field pondering and coming up with vain philosophy as the Bible was talking about. You start breaking down the Greek and the Hebrew and I love to do that. But sometimes if we're not careful, we can get so far out in left field that we're out of the will of God, out of the word of God, and start dealing with our own thoughts, our own ideas, and our own visions, and what the Lord has spoke to us, and not what the word of God says. 
We got to be careful of that. We just got to be as little children. Now, we are not going to be wading into deep thoughts tonight. It's going to be pretty shallow, and that's good for me. Is that good for you? Because you know what? Our, our brain, my brain may not be able to handle it tonight. I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm not a very deep person. I just take the Word of God for what it says. And, and so it's not going to be some deep thought, so you can take your seatbelt off and just relax and just breathe a little bit. We're going somewhere, and it's going to be for a ride. But we need to be like the little children. Who all in here is from the ages of, who's in junior youth? Could you please stand? Could you please stand? I got something. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you what's in this bag. Now, you can't tell nobody just yet what's in this bag. Come here and take a look, Darius. Do you think they want what's in this bag? Probably. Is there someone else in junior youth that's in the bag? Come here, Amelia. Look in this bag. Do you think anybody want these people want what's in that bag? That's right. Come here, Rowan. Do you think people want what's in that bag? You can go sit down. Come here, young lady. What's your name? Kelly, Zoe, look in this bag. Do you think they want what's in this bag? That's right. Do you think they want what's in this bag? <laughs> Don't say it. I didn't even ask her. She's like, yeah, you want what's in this bag. Oh, yeah, she says. You want what's in the church? You want what's in this bag. There's another one. Look, there, come here, young man. This young man had a birthday here recently. What He said 17, right? How old are you? 17, he said. No, seven. All right, take a look in here. Let me shuffle that up a little bit. It's going to stretch a little bit. Do you think they want what's in there? You know what? Won't you take some? Take, take one of those. Take one of those. You can have it. The one out of the ones I've shown, if you want it, you can come get you one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to see you. So they wanted what's in the bag because they knew what was in the bag. They knew what was in the bag, and they knew where to come get it. Now, after he had got what was in the bag, how many of y'all want what's in the bag? Now, I'm going to get you some real Bible right here. The money answereth all things, but we ain't talking about money tonight. But if somebody's got a bag of money walking around and they're saying, you can come have it, you can have this money, I want, I want some of the action. Now, now we just got to have the faith of a mustard seed to move a mountain, but yet we struggle when God says something can be ours and we sit back while everybody else is getting theirs and we're wondering why God ain't blessing us. There's a little bit left in here. You know, now, if it was the Lord, it would be an endless supply. No hundreds. I'm a land surveyor. But the faith of a mustard seed, and it'll be like a little child. You know what? When somebody tells a little child, hey, you can have, you can have this, they're typically going to ask questions like, well, how's it going to work out? Look about the taxes I got to pay on that. Think about all the responsibility I got to pay on that. There's another one right here. I told him he was going to give a special for him. Here's something. You can look in that bag, young lady. Would you like to have one of those? Grab it. Take, take one of those to your brother. So glad Kevin and his family are coming here.
Now, out of those young people, now I don't know how many is left in here. Would you like to have some more? Well, look at that. He raised his hand. Well, come on up here and get you some more, young man. Get you some more. Get you some more. Get you some more. You know what's in it. Why are you waiting? Now, there will be some more of that. Brother McVeigh is going to contribute a bunch more than that. But my question is, is like, how many people knew what was in the bag after they saw him walk back with that green in their hand? And you sit back wanting, wishing that you could come get some, but you sat there watching the young ones while they got it. They walked away with your dollar. They walked away with your $2, maybe $3. Like I said, this ain't deep. I'm sorry. If you came expecting a deep, mighty minute of uh, a word, you should come back another night when I'm not preaching. But a childlike faith. They had childlike faith because they, and, and not only that, but they seen what the young brother took out and they said, ooh, I want some of that. Because they were exposed and they had a glimpse of what was taking place and they wanted it. Now, this is just like the Holy Ghost. Now, if you do not have the Holy Ghost in this house tonight, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand. I'm not going to ask you to, to stand up right now. But, but if you've been coming around this church or any church at all where they believe in receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, there's been something that pulled on your heart and you says, I want what they got. I want what they got. Maybe, maybe it's been a while since you've been refilled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Maybe it's been, uh, you're just going through a dry season and you're saying, my goodness, I wish I could get back to that, that, that infilling of the Holy Ghost. And, and you see people come to the altar and you see people during the praise service, during the worship service, getting touched by God, getting moved on by God. And, and you just like, man, I just wish I could find my way back down there. Or I wish I could just, ah, what are they going to say about me? What are they going to think about me when I go down there and I start snotting and crying and, and, and just losing, losing my mind, losing, I don't want to lose control. Well, that's the problem. You don't want to lose control. But I'll tell you what, God is a God of control. And when you lose control of yourself and let God step in, God's not going to make you lose, lose your mind. He's going to give you a right mind. He's going to put some, he's going to give you some solidity in yourself. He's going to give you the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, my question to you is, who wants the Holy Ghost tonight? Who wants more of the Holy Ghost tonight? You know what? I can't, I can only do so much. I can just tell you what the Word of God says. In Acts chapter 2, it says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins, and you shall. Not you might get the Holy Ghost, but you shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. My goodness. The people in the upper room on the day of Pentecost, they went there because they were what? They were expecting something. What are you expecting tonight in this house? Did you come in this house expecting to walk out the way that you came in? Or did you come in this place, God, I need a touch from you tonight. God, I need a, I need a refilling in my spirit. I need a touch of the Holy Ghost. I need a touch of my body. All you need is just to take God at what He says. Oh, that's all you got to do is just believe God. That's all you got to do is just, just reach out and touch Him. 
He's in this place tonight. He hasn't gone anywhere. And as a simple little message, it says, this is what, this is what got that, that simple message of Acts 238 caused a revival that turned upside the land upside down. And I love when I hear Acts 238 preach. I love it. And it should turn our lives upside down every time we hear it. I love it. I never get tired of hearing about one God. I never get tired of hearing about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That excites me every time I see somebody get the gift of the Holy Ghost. That does something to me on the inside. I love it when our children get the Holy Ghost. I love it when our young people get the Holy Ghost. I love it when the old men and the old women get the Holy Ghost. I just love something about the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter where you're at in life. God is good. The Holy Ghost is for you. It doesn't matter what nationality. It doesn't matter if you've got a lot of money in your pocket or you're down on your last dollar. The Holy Ghost is for everybody in this house tonight. If you're in this place tonight, God wants everybody. God wants everybody to walk out of here full of the Holy Ghost. It's not the will of God. If you're in this place tonight and it's been five years that you talked in tongues, tonight it's the will of God that you talk in tongues tonight. It's the will of God if you don't have the Holy Ghost to be filled tonight. But how bad do you want it? The promise is unto you. And that is, that's just stops. It stops right there just for you. It stops right there. That was for them in the Old Testament. Who? Whose children? Everybody's children. And it's just for those that are close by me. It's us four and no more. But what version are you guys reading? What does it say? That doesn't, that doesn't really mean that. Or does it? It does. It's not, it's not deep. It's not deep tonight. Come on, relax. Take the seatbelt off. It's not deep. All that are afar off. We're a long ways from Jerusalem, but we're still in the upper room. We're a long ways from Jerusalem, but we can still have a day of Pentecost in this house tonight. You know what? We ain't, we ain't walking around in sandals and sashes, but you know what? We can dance in the Holy Ghost tonight. We can get our healing tonight. The Holy Ghost is still in the healing business. The Holy Ghost is still in the touching mind business. Sometimes you don't have to be in the house of God. you got to lay hands on yourself and say, Jesus, touch my mind. When you get full of the Holy Ghost, you can pray for yourself. But you know what? That's, it just stays right there. Once you get the Holy Ghost, and once you get, you know, once you get baptized, once you repent, and you come, you know, it's just a one-time thing. No. Oh, man, you guys are killing my message. No, it's not a one-time thing. It's not a one-time thing. Preston, I asked you to get a scripture earlier. Can you get it, brother, and stand up and read it? Nice, slow, clear, and loud. Titus 3 and 5. Let me, let me bring you your mic, brother. I want everybody to hear this. Not by works of righteousness. Not by how good you think you are. Not because you got the best suit and the place on. Not because you got your hair done right and you said 12 Hail Marys before you came in here. Which we have done. We've all done that. Not the Hail Marys, but we've all. But according to his mercy. Whose mercy? Not your mercy. His mercy. He saved us. He saved us by the washing. Uh Uh-oh. Now, this isn't written to a group of sinners. This is written to who? It's letters for all of us. Of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Not by works of righteousness, so I can't be good enough, which we have done, and that's good that we do what's right, but according to His mercy, He saved us. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, brother. 
If you knew what was in the bag, you would come up and get it. Church, you know what's up here. But you know what? We serve a God of endless supply. You know where to find it. It's not sitting in your seat. I'm not asking you to perform. I'm not asking you to do anything. But if you need a renewing of your mind and you need the regenerating power of the Holy Ghost, you know where to come find it at. I'm not going to beg you. I'm not going to plead with you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to beg you. You know what you need and you know where to find it. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, I tell you right now, I would be making my way. I'd be pushing through the crowd and trying to find a place so I could get a hold of God. God wants to fill some people with the Holy Ghost tonight. If you've been seeking the Holy Ghost, God wants to fill you tonight. It's a promise. I can tell you that. That's what the Word of God says. I don't need to elaborate any further. I don't need to, to go on and expound in great truths and, and deepness of it. The Holy Ghost is in the house tonight. The Holy Ghost is in the house tonight. If you need something from God, you know where to find it. We know that the praise team is going to sing here in a minute, but we need to, to get into our right mind and press in just a little bit and see what God is going to do in this house. Let the Holy Ghost wash over this place tonight. Come on now. Thank you, Jesus. I need a renewing in my mind. I need a renewing in my spirit. I need a renewing. I need the gift of the Holy Ghost. I've heard you talk about it, preacher. I've heard you talk about it, preacher. I've heard you talk about the gift of the Holy Ghost. I need it. I may not fully understand it, but I need this Holy Ghost. Come on, man. If y'all need the Holy Ghost, I'm asking you to come on up close to the front. If you need a touch in your body tonight, I'm asking you to come on up close to the front. It's, it's here tonight. God's already been here. You know what's in the bag. You know where to find it. I can't give it to you. I can't deliver it to you, but you've seen it. You've been a witness of what has taken place in these altars, and it's here right now. It's here right now, ready to meet every need. That's it. That's it. That's the Holy Ghost. We don't need to be here for two hours and let the Holy Ghost move. God can move in five minutes what we've been trying to do all week long. All we need is a word from God that says, I'm here to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And you just need to believe it. You need to receive the word from the Lord tonight and say, God, I want what it is. I want this. I need it. I'm hungry for a touch from you. I need a renewing in my mind. Get your hands off of me. I got the victory. I got the victory. 
victory, I've got the victory. I've got the 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 victory, I've got the victory. It's mine, it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine, it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine.
on, church. Let's lift our voices. Come on, let's lift our voices. God is moving on some of you all. Now's not the time to just stop because just let's keep pressing in. God wants to touch somebody. God's trying to touch some people tonight. We just need to keep pressing in. Keep pressing in. God wants to do something. It's not time to time to stop. It's not time to, to put it in neutral. Let's cry out. Let's lift our voices. God wants to move. God's moving on this man right here. Let's lift our voices. Let's bind in one mind and one accord. Start to worship Jesus. Start to worship. God's moving right here on this man right here. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. Let's bind together. Believe in him. Believing that God's going to fill him with the Holy Ghost. Believing that God is going to fill him with the Holy Ghost. Come on, let's pray right now. Bind together. Bind together. Faith believing. One mind. One mind. One accord. Sisters, pray with another sisters. Young ladies, pray with other people. Come on, pray with somebody. Young men, gather another young man and start to pray. Some of you that are standing around, reach your hand over and start to pray for somebody. Well, I wish somebody so would catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. Yes, I wish somebody so would it's not over catch yet. on fire. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. I wish God's not finished so with you yet. Catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. Somebody so would catch on fire. That's it, Kevin. Go. Catch on fire. Hallelujah. So would catch on fire. Unloose right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for filling us, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody so would catch on fire. Catch on fire. God's moving in this house. Catch on fire. God's touching hearts and minds right now. Catch on fire. Burning with the Holy Ghost. Was fully come. They were all in one place. They were all in one accord. Suddenly there came a sound like a rushing mighty wind. It filled the house where they were setting in. But I wish somebody so would catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. Yes, I wish somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. Somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. Yes, I wish somebody so would catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. I wish somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. But appeared unto them, clove in tongues, just like fire. Shut up in my bones And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost They spoke with other tongues as he gave utterance Oh, I wish somebody so would Catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire I wish somebody so would Catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost Yes, I wish somebody so would Catch on fire Catch on fire, catch on fire. I wish somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. But there appeared unto them cloven tongues, just like fire, shut up in my bones. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost, spoke with other tongues as he gave us. Catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. I wish somebody so would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. Yes, I wish somebody so would catch on fire, catch on fire, catch on fire. Catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost.
to the Lord, I'm gonna praise my Jesus like never before. I'm gonna dance, shout, hand to the Lord, I'm gonna praise my Jesus like never before. Amen, amen, amen. Do you feel better? Is this thing on? Is this? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Did you get what you came looking for? You know what? When you don't get what you came looking for, you know what? You have to come back and keep seeking. Don't give up. If you didn't get your answer tonight, I believe God had your answer tonight. But sometimes in our humanity, I miss, I miss what God wants for me. I, it's not because I may be wrong or doing something I shouldn't be doing. But sometimes in our humanity, I do something and I miss the mark. But you know what? When I, I was sharing this. When I go fishing and I don't catch a fish, I don't just give up because I didn't get what I wanted that night. You know what I did? I get up and I go back fishing. I get up when I go hunting and I miss a deer or something with the first shot. I don't give up and just put away my guns and sell my, sell my guns, sell my ammo, sell everything I got. You know what I do? I practice and get my aim a little bit better and I go back next season and say, this is my time. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, the Lord has, I believe, got some special things for all of us. I tell you, I was reminiscing today, and I won't be long, I won't belinger the, the point, but I tell you what I miss, and it's been a while since it's happened around here, is I remember seeing the, the little children coming up and getting filled with the Holy Ghost. Little children. I was where we attended church at in California. One night we were in a prayer, or there was an altar call or worship service going on. And there was some little children come up to the front, a couple of little girls. I think she was four or five years old. And they were, they were doing what they saw us doing. They were dancing and they were shouting and they were, they, were, they were playing. They were playing like little kids. They were playing. They didn't really know what they were doing. But there was one little young lady right there. All of a sudden, her countenance changed. She stopped. And tears just started coming down her face. And you could tell God touched her. God honored her. She didn't know what she was doing. She was just seeing mom and daddy. She was just seeing what the rest of the church people were doing. And God filled her with the gift of the Holy Ghost. It wasn't because the chaos, but it was going to happen, I believe, because she was doing like those around her. And letting God touch her. Letting God fill her with the gift of the Holy Ghost. I miss seeing the little children get the gift of the Holy Ghost. But if I want my children to seek the gift of the Holy Ghost and to seek just that in constant renewing, I can't just talk about it. Adults, mamas and daddies, I want to talk to you just for a moment in closing. If we want to see our children make heaven, we need a revival among our children. We need a revival among our children. The little ones. The little ones. The ones that are in junior youth and down. We need a revival in the whole church. But hear what I'm saying. I remember those days of, of, of young kids coming up and feeling the Holy Ghost. And when you see a young person, four, five, six, seven years old, get the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's going to continue. I remember it would tear the roof off of Two and a Half Street. 
we need a revival among our young people. And we as the saints of the Most High need to take off the reins of, of our own worship. Men, let me talk to you for a second. Men and daddies, we need a revival of men that want to worship God and are not scared to be unleash what God wants to do in this place. You want to see a revival in this place? When we... When we as men, we step to the plate and say, I'm going to take my rightful position as, uh, as what God has called me to. And I'm going to be the man that I, God has called me to be. And I'm going to be the worshiper that God has called us to be. We're going to see things in this church. Men, we got to bind together. We are the strength of the church. We should be the backbone of this church. And we got to bind together men. Men, we got to learn how to get down and get a hold of God we got to learn in pre-service prayer how to pray and get a hold of God. During our altar calls, we got to get a hold of God as men. The keyboard can wait. The instruments can wait. The sound booth can wait. we got to get a hold of God. We got to get a hold of God. We need that time in prayer. Every man needs to be in the sanctuary during pre service prayer. I, I, I feel this. I feel that God wants to move. God wants to give us a revival. If you. Oh, God's not done in here tonight. It's just going to come in a way. Men. I need to take care of everything I need to take care of. When it's prayer, I need to be praying. Mamas, when it's prayer time, you need to be praying. I ain't trying to quench the spirit. I'm trying to encourage you. We need to take our rightful stand with what we experienced in this little 15, 20 minute. It wasn't because of me. It's because of God. But when we take our rightful positions and get behind the man of God. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, is this okay, Pastor? We need to get behind the vision and not just the church growth vision. And I, I, I keep harping on it, but I'm probably not gonna shut up about it unless Pastor tells me to shut up, and I will. But we need to get behind his vision for pre service prayer. How many times? How many times? What would God do if we stepped to the plate? What kind of services would we have if we all just bound together in one mind and one accord and found a place there in pre-service prayer and bound together and gathered up the front? Why can't we gather at the front? God can touch us outside the doors. I know that. But let's gather. Gather where the heat's at and pull down the glory of God. Not because we're anything good, just because we're coming in one mind and one accord. I believe God wants to blow our minds in this place tonight or in the future. I believe it. But we got to get in one mind and one accord. We got to get all on the same page. We got to get all on the same page. I tell you what, God has blessed us in a mighty way. And please, don't take that as a rebuke. It's not my position to. And if I did, I apologize. I humbly apologize if it came across as a rebuke. But I desire to see... God, to do something in my family's life. God, to do something in my life. I desire to see God to do something in your life. In your life. In your life. I want to see God. God's going to fill you with the Holy Ghost. I want to see good things for your family. For your family. For everybody in this place. I want to see good things for everybody in the Apostolic Bible Church. And that's why I say what I say. Because I believe, as Pastor says, the potential that is inside these walls is just waiting to be tapped into what kind of outpouring of the Holy Ghost would take place in the next week, two, three, four to come when we as pastors been preaching let God out of the box not what I'm comfortable with not my routine not my agenda but what does God want Let's lift our hands all across this place and praying in the dismissal. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you've done for us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence tonight in this place, God. 
Thank you, Jesus, for the hearts that you've touched, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that you would continue, Lord, tomorrow, Lord God, and Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, Lord, to move upon my brothers and sisters, Lord, to move upon our guests, Lord, to continue to draw, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, the work that you started in us, Lord God, to bind us, Lord, together in unity, Lord God, to bind us together, Lord Lord God, in one mind and one accord, Lord Jesus, so that we can do your will, Lord God, and answer the call that you have called us to. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. You can be dismissed in the name of Jesus.